So I got distracted with in real life stuff. And I was like, I have to get the soul. I have to get the soul of Porona. I will get it. It's very important, very important. And then I kept playing the game, kept playing. And then I completely forgot at some time. And then I, I, I just vanish it from my mind and then that's that's what happens you have to remember that if you go low life or chaos inoculation your life is still calculated somehow with strength with level and therefore the cold damage needed to freeze you is also calculated uh, towards your maximum calculated life. So imagine that you have caused an equation, so you have maximum life 1, but your calculated life is like a thousand life. And you have like 10k energy shield. The cold damage necessary to freeze you is going to be based on the 1000 life instead of the 10,000 energy shield that you have. So it's very necessary for you to have freeze immunity or you could use something like the auction that you can read here chill effect and freeze duration on you are based on 100% of energy shield that is exactly what happens you die for a very low amount of damage that could freeze you so if you are a low life character based on energy shield and or you're a chaos inoculation character it is very important that you are immune to freeze in many of the cases of my characters, I just go for the soul of Brian King with Puruna, uh, the challenger, so that I'm immune to freeze. You're still going to be chilled from time to time and be safe. Remember that. That's very important. Don't be like me. Don't die for freezing. Just paying attention is an enormous thing in, in Path of Exile. To be freeze immune is completely important if you are low life or kills in occlusion. Remember that. That is the lesson today. I'll see you in the next video. Subscribe for more. Thank you. Thank you for the strength.